Hey everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody's had a great weekend. Um, at least the Reds ended on a somewhat high note by doubling up the Pirates yesterday, six to three, and it was awesome to see Jonathan India get a hit as well as Joey Votto, my favorite player, get a three-run home run. So 36 home runs on the year for him, 99 RBIs, which is just one homer short of his MVP season in 2010. Probably his second best year overall. I'll have to go back and check the official stats. But speaking of official stats, I um, wanted to talk about Jonathan India. I think everybody knows he's the front runner for National League Rookie of the Year. Um, and I saw Dylan Carlson. I was watching the last week or two. Dylan Carlson was coming up nipping at his heels. Now, Dylan Carlson's had a pretty good year as well. Uh, come on hot as of late, but um, in just checking the stats and kind of comparing them, India is still pretty much in the lead in a lot of significant categories. So um, uh, Carlson actually had 10 more at bats than India. Um, Carlson had 144 hits, India had 143 hits, but India had 21 home runs to Carlson's 18. Uh, his batting average was also four or five points higher, and he had 69 RBIs compared to Carlson's 66. And he also scored 98 runs uh, compared to uh, Carlson's 79. So anyways, um, let's see, anything else here? I was just comparing stats. Um, India's also just been great in the field, not to take anything away from Dylan Carlson, but India's made some amazing plays um, at at second base, and I think most people would argue he's the, definitely a more flashy, better defensive player. So, um, exciting guy to watch. Um, you know, he had a fair amount of strikeouts, not, not terrible, but um, there were times when he chased uh, the, the low and away stuff, and you know, young hitters just do that from time to time. Um, but I think he'll get better. I, I hope he stays with the Reds, and I really hope he wins the uh, Rookie of the Year because I think it would be awesome. So I want to show you guys what I have of my PC so far. And then, um, you know, this is just building a collection. I'll probably do an update at some point. This is a newer card I got. And this is an Elite Extra Edition from 2018, numbered to 999. Um, I just got this in. I almost filed a claim on this with Sport Lots because it took like four or five weeks to get here, but it finally came in. It was $2. It was just too good to pass up. There's one little corner with like a slight bit of white there, but for a raw card, you know, pretty decent. Um, let's see what we've got here. We've got a 2019 Bowman Chrome Mega Box card, which is really cool. This is a newer card I got from Bowman's Best in 2019, the franchise favorites. Really cool insert there. Uh, we have a Bowman Platinum uh, Prospect card, uh, and then a Prismatic Prodigies uh, insert card, and then a Bowman Sterling, these are nice, the uh, base prospect card from 2019, and then uh, Bowman Heritage, these are neat. Um, I don't have the Chrome Prospect, I'll have to look to get that. And then this is just another random, I think this is 2021 Bowman. Yep, but somebody actually sent this to me, I think. Um, 65, or 85, excuse me, out of 399. Nice green parallel there, so that was nice. All right, now let's get into some of the more awesome stuff. A couple more randoms here. Let me throw these in. Uh, prospect card, top 100 from Bowman Chrome. That's from 2019. At that point, he was rated number 68. We've got a Paper Bowman from 2019. We've got a uh, Topps Heritage High Number, or excuse me, Topps Heritage Minor League um, card from 2019, and then a couple of Pro Debut cards. I believe 2019 and 2020. All right, now let's get into some of the other cool stuff we have here. Um, these are nice. The uh, first Bowman's we got one of the paper, one, two, three, four. Actually, I have a fifth one in my other box of the Chromes, and then a nice Bowman first refractor. And then these are some inserts from there. We've got a Bowman Chrome. Um, not really sure what that is, but it's pretty neat. Uh, it's kind of a throwback. 
It's neat. We've got um, a nice card here, Duel with Nick Madrigal. And then we've got another one here, Franchise Futures with Mike Ciani. He hasn't played it all yet. Um, and then this is the Bowman Sterling continuity that was out of that year. Those are neat. I really like that dual image. So those are all cards I've gotten this year. Uh, also, um, let me show these from Bowman's Best. These are really nice. 2018, we've got a nice refractor. Actually, that was pulled. And then a nice Atomic. I think I bought that for like 3 or $4, but probably worth a lot more than that now. Uh, best Performers insert. And then this is my one and only autograph card of him, just a base. But I picked this up for like $15. It's worth a heck of a lot more than that now. I wish I'd picked up one of his first Bowman Chrome autos. Um, they're just getting crazy expensive now, but I'll have to see. I'll definitely be looking for his Topps Chrome auto and an update that comes out. He'll be in Topps Update, Topps Chrome update, and some other like Heritage High Number and some other things like that. So um, Topps Now Rookie. So here's the rookie cards I have of him uh, with a rookie symbol. We've got some Prism. These are two base. Really nice silver Prism. I got that recently. Beautiful card. And then I got a steal on this color match. It was like $7.00. A uh, guy I met on a Facebook group uh, uh, that was with shipping, so it was crazy, but really nice. Uh, got a couple Allen and Ginter bases and the silver portrait, which is really nice. And then we have a uh, Topps Fire base. I also ordered from a friend of mine on Facebook group the gold minted of Topps Fire, and I've also ordered the class one and class two in Topps gold label. So those are all the rookie cards that are out of him now. I think Panini Spectra does have a rookie as well. So I'll be looking for that. Those are kind of expensive. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this PC. Um, let me know what you guys think in terms of National League Rookie of the Year. I think he's all but a lock considering what happened to Patrick Wisdom with the injury as well as uh, Trevor Rogers. He's kind of fallen off. So... You know, Reds kind of were disappointing a little bit the last month of the year, but this would be some consolation, and it's just fun to watch India. I went to a game this year where they played the Brewers, and he hit a game-tying home run off the foul pole and just makes some ridiculous plays in the field. So, anyways, hope you all have a great rest of your week, and please like, comment, subscribe.